there's been a friendly, at times, a, you know, hard edge debate among the environmental community as to whether or not there should be a compromise in Bel Air or whether or not there should be all out opposition. The, both sides are motivated by the same thing. One, how do you protect the watershed? And two, how do you maintain the partnership with, between New York City and the upstate residents? But the reason I think the Sierra Club is right on this issue is because those who have advocated compromise have misperceived the public sentiment in the watershed. We've been told that there should be compromise on this issue because we have to accommodate legitimate development in, interests in the watershed. I couldn't agree more. Much of the watershed program, for those of you who are familiar with it, did just that. But the legitimate interest in the watershed for development is not in real estate development. And one of the things that happens is that the locals know this. The locals are very badly divided on this issue. The media, most of the politicians because of the campaign contributions, and the Main Street advertisers are interested in volume of people walking through. But the people with the long histories in the watershed are interested in something different. They are interested in maintaining the historic business activity and the historic culture they have lived with. They would be interested in things like becoming part of a new local food network for New York City, becoming New York City's primary <coughs> ecotourism destination. The, the, the country up there is classic for biking, for fishing, for hiking. Um, the city has walked away from those issues. The reason many people, including unfortunately some of our leading editorialists, have supported this compromise is they think that's what the residents want. What the city needs to do, what people like the Sierra Club need to do, is not just try and stop this project. And I think the recession gives us a perfect opportunity to buy this property out and to convert it into a publicly supported ecotourism destination. And I say that knowing full well that when the assemblyman hears me talk about spending money in New York State, he's probably going, uh-oh. Um, but we should do that anyway. The, but we should also be positive. We should also work to push the city, to push the civic community, to get back in the business of promoting landscape-based development in the watershed, not just exurban sprawl.